Hey folks, Roland Martin here. Today is Friday, it's time for the update of the week. Well, you know, it's it's been incredible fishing. I'm over here at Bellsbury, Florida, and I'm fishing out of the Headwaters Lake, and we're just catching more fish than I've ever caught before. I just, I, I'm setting a record actually, it's my own personal record. It's just every single day we're having just fantastic fishing. Now today, <laughs> I normally charge uh, and, and have a, 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 a deposit, you know, sent in. Well, today we didn't have a deposit, and somehow or other the guy got canceled. It's the first cancellation I've had all year. So I went China fishing. Let, let me show you what I caught. Look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, look down in there. Look down there. Oh yeah, look at, look at those shiners. There's just, there's 25 dozen shiners. Now, how I operate my business is that I don't sell shiners, but I provide shiners. So, so when I go fishing with all these different people like I have all week, I catch these shiners, put them in the tank at night, take out five or six dozen in the morning, and that's what we fish with. And then I catch some more shiners for the, for the middle of the day. But right now I have a lot of shiners in here. They're jumping all over the place. They're really, really happy, happy, good shiners. Look at, now let me just show you what kind of shiner we're talking about. I'll just come up. These are shiners. Um, these are big time shiners. Look at these guys. That's a shiner and a half. That's like the perfect size right here. That's like the perfect size. Woo! There's just hundreds of them. In fact, there's 250 of them. That's what I caught today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shiners. Anyway, i tell you what's happening. These bass are just biting like crazy. Okay, now today I didn't fish. Today I caught shiners. Now yesterday, uh, let's see, Thursday I head off, okay, and I was uh, over and uh, getting my boat fixed up. But Wednesday I had Chad Myers. Guess what? He caught five fish. The five biggest fish weighed 35 pounds. That's a seven pound average. So we had some beautiful bass. Okay, the day before that, I fished with a guy by the name of uh, David Deans. David Deans, and that was uh, on, on Tuesday. And we had, again, 35 pounds. It was, I mean, this is incredible. Can you imagine five, seven pound bass? That's, that's, that's what we're talking about. Okay, now Monday, <laughs> this really gets crazy. Monday, the 21st, I had actually three i think it had three over eight that day three over eight eight pounds now i average an eight pound bass every day some days we catch none some days we catch two or three but every day this week uh, i've averaged over eight pounds for for the average okay sunday i was off and i went and caught shiners and i just took it easy and didn't do much but then saturday last saturday i fished with don Aykroyd. And again, we caught over 30 pounds of bass. This is our shiners. We're just really catching them. We're putting them on a, on, on a big uh, circle hook. And oh, it's just it's fantastic. I mean, you can't believe the great, great fishing we're having right now. Well, <clears throat> that's one thing. I'm really all set up for that. Let's look at my boat for a second. So we got, I'm already set up for just really a perfect deal. Okay. What we have here is I have a great big 35 gallon tank. And inside that tank, I have all sorts of salt, which promulgates slime coat, which helps the fish a lot. I have this catch and release formula stuff that really helps. And I also have this safe. And safe is the stuff that takes the, the chlorine out of the tap water that we have here so it's all ready to go so i'm going to put five or six dozen shiners in there in the morning and we'll be ready to go let me just show you something else the secret of good shiner fishing is having good oxygen it's really really important okay now here's here's one of the secret deals okay what you have is you have a special diffusion stone. And this stone 
diffuses oxygen and when you turn this tank on it's hard to see but I'll turn it on uh, 1500 pounds of pressure and I have about uh, a quarter liter per hour no I'm sorry a quarter liter per minute and it comes through this stone now keeping oxygen on the fish is just so important you can't possibly with your regular live wells and your regular boat system that you can't get enough oxygen to the fish. If you put that many shiners in your regular live well, it's not gonna work. They're not gonna live. So I have special oxygen tanks, I have special diffuser systems, and I have special chemicals that uh, promulgate slime coat, that uh, enhance the hemoglobin to accept more oxygen, and so anyway, all this, all these special chemicals are all part of the system. But anyway, I'm really, really having a good time with, with my fishing. Now, next week is another whole deal. We're going up to Springfield, Missouri. They're having like this spring fling. It's, this, it's like a, a big bass pro shop thing at the main office in Springfield, Missouri. And I'll be up there with Bill Dance and with Jimmy Houston. And we're going to have a great, great time. We're going to be autographing. And we're going to be signing hats. We're going to have a really big time with uh, with, with all this going on up there. Let me just uh, let me just see some. How much time do we have here? Oh, six minutes. Okay. Okay. Now, I've just bought a new truck. Let me just show you this whole deal. The problem with Felsbear is that we have a six-mile dirt road. You go down to the Headwaters Lake and it's just oh, nothing but dirt and dust and dirt. And so look at this, it's a brand new truck. It's a beautiful truck, which is 100% beautiful, but look at, look at the dirt, it just gets all nasty. And so I have to, every single day I have to wash the truck. It's just a challenge to get this thing right. But I, again, I, that's what you have to do. You have to, you have to, <laughs> you have to drive a dirt road. <laughs> You have to wash everything down. It's just really a, a nightmare. And here's my trailer. Okay, now what we have, we're here at Felsmere Outdoor Resorts. And, and Pat Kelly and his, and his wife, Jackie, they have allowed me to use this trailer. It's not much of a trailer. It's just a big deal. But I can spend the night in there. And I've, it's air conditioned. And I have a shower. And I can get all that thing. And I have my tank right here. And have all my all my chemicals and all this stuff and then pat has his shiners over there that's all his shiner tanks and of course he sells shiners and he has different shiner catchers coming in for that but i have an independent deal now here here's how it works here on headwaters i'm not allowed to sell shiners so i catch my own shiners and i've caught 20 30 dozen today but i don't sell a single one of them it's part of the deal. I just give all these shiners and we can use 10, 15 dozen a day. And you know, they're $25, $25 a dozen, but I'll use 15 dozen a day because I catch them myself and give them to everybody free. So that's really kind of the big deal. We're just blitzing the bass right now. You can't believe how good it is. It's the best fishing I've ever had. Now I've fished Okeechobee in its prime. This is better than Okeechobee ever was in the eighties and the, 90s. This is as good as Santee Cooper was back in the in the 70s. This is as good as Rodman was in the early 70s. This is the place to be. In fact, we have a we have a guy, Bill Brown. He's up on the Headwaters Lake, and he's a, a, a creel study guy. And he asks everybody that comes in. He says, he says, what do you catch? How big are the fish? And he he says, Roland, you know, quite often I'll have the big catch of the day, but that's. 150 boats out there. But I asked Bill, I said, Bill, what lake is the best lake in Florida? Because there's several krill studies. He said, Roland, the Headwaters Lake is far above head and shoulders above all of the other lakes in Florida. It's catching more fish. Everybody's having more success than ever. And because it's, it's just a red hot lake. So it's whether you fish artificial, whether you fish shiners, everybody's catching fish. And so that's that's the whole deal. So here I am having a ball, catching fish, and even shot a turkey last week as well. So okay, folks, we'll see we'll see you again later. And hey, thanks for watching the YouTube. We'll see you again soon.